Well guys, I really have found my new favorite product in Topps Bunt and I'm gonna rate it. Check it out guys. Alright guys, I have to be perfectly unbiased when I do this review, but for sure this is my 100% favorite product from Topps Bunt to date. I know I said that about Color Splash, but 100% it is this one, and I'm talking about Topps Galaxy 22. And you might be thinking, hey, but there is a Topps Galaxy 22 for NHL Skate. Why don't you like that one? Well, I'm going to show you exactly why Topps Bunt is the premier digital trading card platform. And unfortunately, even though I am a huge hockey fan, Topps Skate really can't even hold its own against Topps Bunt. Even having the exact same product, it just lacks so much more against Topps Bunt. Now, enough of the hype. Let's go into some groundskeeping before I go into the break itself. First of all, thank you guys so much. I have exceeded 750 subscribers. And the irony of it all is I got more subscriptions when I was on vacation than I actually did when I was filming more videos. So maybe they're onto something. Maybe I should just go on vacation longer and there will be more subscribers. Maybe that's just the way it goes. I don't know. But hey, that's what happens. I got more subscribers when I was on vacation than I did when I was actually really active. So I'll take it. So, what does that mean? That means there's going to be a giveaway coming soon. It will be for a blaster box of uh, Upper Deck Extended Series 2021. Uh, we'll start that next week, maybe. We'll see when I get to it, but we'll, we'll do it for sure. I, I did promise you guys a blaster box, and that's coming. Next big milestone will be 800, then 900, and then 1,000, and we'll see what happens after that, guys. All right, so as I mentioned, there will be a giveaway, not in this video, but there will be a separate one. So stay tuned for that. All right, so now let's get into Topps Bunt's Galaxy 22. Uh, for those of you who remember, I have a 30 point rating scale. It's out of five points in six different factors. First of all, the name factor. This isn't the player name, but the the, the uh, recognizability, I should say, or the recognition or the ease of recognition of this product. Do you actually know this product? Is it like a physical product that exists? Has it been in tops? bunt for a long long time was it even a product that people cared for for a while so that is what the name factor is for example tops chrome would get a five out of five because people know what tops chrome is it's just a name that resonates alan and J ginter another one gypsy queen is another one those are uh name factors that would get five out of five Desirability is, do people actually want these cards? Are they trading for them? Is there a demand for them? And the easiest way that I find it is just to see in the trade chats that people are actually asking for these cards. Um, I also do find that sometimes if you pull a good card, even a super rare or an iconic, sometimes people will come and seek you out and trade for it. That shows you how desirable those products are. So Topps Inception has been a product that people have come after for. Um, that would give a, a pretty high mark on that desirability. Card designs, simply put, do the cards look good? Player name recognition is what kind of players are in this set? Are they good players? Are they players you care about? Or are they just random players that are thrown in there for no reason? Top Skate is notorious for this, for putting player names that nobody really cares for in a set and then you get an iconic version of the card and you're just like why why okay odds accuracy now I know uh, a user very very nicely told me how to use probability mathematics and he is 100% correct that is how you do a single event probability which is exactly what Tops Bunt cards are because they are a digital platform. Each event is on its own singularity. But for simplicity's sake and for the fact that people 
look at the odds and say, hey, I have a one in eight chance of getting a rare card. I'm still gonna stick with it. Let's see how accurate that is to get one in eight. I know it's subjective and it's not entirely true in the form of probability, but for simplicity's sake, let's just see how close we get to that. Now, finally, value. If a pack of cards is worth 5,000 coins, do you get your value for it or should you just pass on it? Um, 5,000 coins is pretty expensive for a pack of coins, or sorry, for a pack of cards. So uh, is it worth it? I'll find out for you guys. So there you go. That's what the 30 point scale is. I'm gonna try to shorten it down each video so, or there's gonna be a little time jump so you can skip ahead to the actual break. So here we go, Tops Galaxy. You get star studded players, MLB past stars and present stars unite on an all new beautifully designed motion cards that are out of this galaxy. Love the play on words here. And let me just show you guys why Tops Galaxy 4 Bunt is way better than the one that they released in Skate. I'm gonna open 10 packs, so hopefully I get one rare card out of that and that's how I'm gonna base the odds accuracy so here we go pack number one i do have to say i'm almost done the entire set for the uncommon so first pack and there you go zach allen look at that that is some crazy crazy animation it costs you a lot of data uh, at least on your phone your memory card and also it definitely definitely causes your battery to drain faster, but it's worth it because they look so cool. There's Kyle Schwarber. So that's, uh, you get two uncommons per pack. Pretty good for 5,000 coins if you ask me. Next pack here, Nestor Cortez and, sorry, here we go, Robert, uh, Kyber Ruiz. Next pack here, Jazz Chisholm Jr. I love Jazz Chisholm. Um, Dan B. Dansby Swanson. All right, that's pack number three there. Oh, I'm at 49 out of 50. I'm almost there. Pack number four. Paul Molitor. So there you go. Some past stars. And Daniel Vogelbach. Pack number five. Javier Baez. Charlie Blackman. <clears throat> pack number six. We got Byron Buxton, we got a rare card, Zach Wheeler, and another Byron Buxton. So that's kind of terrible that you get two of the exact same cards in a pack, but you know, I did get the rare. Pack number six, Max Fried, Anthony Rizzo, pack number seven, Fran Beer Valdez, Gary Sheffield, Eight. Juan Gonzalez. Oh, another rare. Luis Robert rare. This is the uh, Tony Kemp. I think that's a different, that's the interstellar base, sorry. I think this is nine. I lost count now, sorry guys. Happens to me a lot. John Gray. Kybert Ruiz again. And last pack. For the sake of doing this, we got Zach Wheeler, Kybert Ruiz again, and Charlie Blackman again. So, a couple of dupes there, but odds accuracy, can't go wrong with that. That looked pretty good to me. But yeah, those cards look so cool with all of those uh, animations and everything. Honestly, guys, I think Topps bunt deserves credit where credit is due like even some of their base cards well this is a relic version of the card it looks really really cool i will show you i did happen to pull an iconic card and it looks really crazy um i really enjoyed it uh, let's take a look here this is it here this is pete alonzo galaxy iconic uh, signature relic and I love the fact that they change all of the backgrounds for each one. So it's not the same thing with the meteors in the background or the asteroids in the background. It's, it's different as they go. So I applaud them for really doing this. So on to the actual ratings of this product. 
Let's do this. Name factor. I'm going to give it 3 out of 5 because honestly, Topps Galaxy isn't a product that exists outside of the digital realm. And for good reason, simply because, you know, you want those animated cards and you want them to look good. You can only find them in this digital realm. So 3 out of 5. Uh, desirability. I've been looking for trades and everything and there's not that many people looking for Topps Galaxy on Bunt and that's kind of a shame because this product is pretty good and it's not that there's nobody looking but there's not a lot so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Card design. This is where I'm going to give it a bit of a bias. It's a perfect 5 out of 5 for me. I love animated cards. I think it utilizes the Topps Bunt platform to its fullest. So 100% that's getting a 5 out of 5 for me. Player name recognition. This one, they have some old stars and new stars and rookies. So they kind of mix it all up together. I think it's got some really big names. You got Gary Sheffield, you got Juan Gonzalez, you have Alex Rodriguez. But then you also have a lot of rookies that may or may not really make it yet to the show. So I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. All right. Odds accuracy, 5 out of 5. I got rares within the first 10 packs. Again, this is sub this is not true probability, but uh, it's just based off of my own experience. Definitely did get some decent cards out of the 10 packs that I did pull, so gonna give it a five out of five for odds. And then for value, I'm giving this one a full five out of five as well. You get two uncommon animated cards for 5,000 coins. That is great value for anybody who's hesitant on using your coins. 100% this is the product that you should use it on. So what does that add up to in the end? You're going to find yourself at 24.5 for this Topps Bunt Galaxy 2022 product. And that brings it to second place on my entire Topps Collect ranking so far. So pretty good guys, pretty good. Just behind Topps Inception for Topps Skate, which is a big, huge product. So not too shabby. Again, I'm trying to get my biases out of it, but um, you know what, honestly, I, I really, really like these cards. I like the fact that they are utilizing the Topps Bunt platform to its 100% fullest, something that they should replicate in Top Skate. But again, it is the red headed stepchild versus Top's Bunt. All right, guys, that's it for me. Stay tuned for giveaways. I've got more digital card reviews to do. Maybe I'm going to switch it over and do it for physical cards. We'll see. Um, yeah, there's lots of exciting stuff coming down the pipeline. So I hope you guys all stick around for that. That's it. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on collecting, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.